Hey folks, welcome back to Chris Wine Africa here on the Daba Africa channel. It's Chris in central Pennsylvania. Well, the ANC's race hustler in chief, Fikele Mabula, is at it again. On X, the former Twitter, he posted the following. Only one African player selected in the Proteas team for the upcoming T20 World Cup 2024 team. Definitely a reversal of the gains of transformation and does reflect fair representation of all South Africans in the national cricket team. <laughs> well, lots to unpack here, but I'm going to focus on responses to his Twitter post. But before I go any further, I will say that uh, not a lot of representation of any minorities on Bafana Bafana. And what does transformation have to do with sports? This is race hustling extraordinaire. But South Africans of all skin hues are having none of Fikili's nonsense. The following post, ANC exterminator said, lack of African players selected, never mind the rest are all South African, yet billions stolen to build sporting facilities or even a lot of money that gets milked by you instead of sports development at grassroots. Well stated. Of course, all South Africans are Africans. Zet 1987 said, heard of merit? Why don't you have any white, Indian, or colored in your national executive committee? <laughs> That's a good question. Whites, Indians, and coloreds have been virtually eliminated from the ANC's senior ranks as the black supremacist party that it's becoming becomes blatantly obvious to the world. Bernie Williams says, in order to win, you pick the best possible team, not politically correct team. Why are there no white people in Bafana Bafana, you hypocrite? Ah, uh, but Bernie, it's not about excellence, performance, or winning. It's all about getting whitey. Don't you know? That's what it's all about. That's become the ANC's mantra. The party of the Rainbow Nation is all about getting whitey. The ANC does not care one look about winning anything other than craven political power. Bafana Bafana, aside from one recent brief spell of minor excellence, has been an awful soccer team for decades. If the ANC genuinely cared, it would be a focus, like their dogged pursuit of the Boromag years ago. Now, Rian offers a point display of Mabalula's race hustling with this response post showing zero white or Indian players on the national soccer team. <laughs> now, it wasn't just white South Africans and Indians who hit back, but also black South Africans hit back hard in Mabalula's pathetic post. Moses Ramafalo said the following, our country is a mess today because your ANC appointed people based on emotions, skin color, gender, and political associates instead of appointing on merit. Stop using the Protea team to campaign for an election. <laughs> well stated. Probably the best response post I saw here. And Kulile Mate said, players are selected on merit, not race or color. Race won't win trophies, but a good performance team will win trophy for all South Africa. Let's support Proteas and all players selected. And this reply hits home the hardest and exposes the 30-year governance fraud which the ANC has become. Mopani posts, how many kids in the townships play cricket? How many will get the opportunity to watch the team since SABC cannot afford to buy the broadcasting rights? Cricket remains the privileged sport because government is failing to introduce the sport to the less privileged. Now, this same sort of situation applies to rugby owing to the South African Rugby Union and the African National Congress government not spending sufficient time or money in non-traditional rugby communities. Now, despite that, rugby has grown in popularity in non-traditional support communities. In other words, among black South Africans. Just look at who shows up at games in Pretoria, in Joburg, in Durban, especially. Lots of black South Africans. Now, why is this? Well, it's because the Springboks are successful. Folks like winners, Springboks, not losers, Bafana Bafana. The ANC should keep its nose out of sport, eliminate this ridiculous ministry for sports, stop interfering in sports, and focus on service delivery failures, which is what they have excelled at, service delivery failures. That has been the major accomplishment of the ANC, racializing a non-racialized society. Well, it was trying to become a non-racialist society under Mandela, but they've successfully in the past 20 years racialized society and failed to deliver service delivery. That's what they should be focusing on. There you go, folks. Fikili Mabalula opening his mouth, inserting his foot. Once again, the rolling race hustling circus that is Fikili Mabula, the Secretary General of the ruling African National Congress. May 29th is fast approaching, and he's focused on the skin color of players on the cricket team, but not on Bafana Bafana. Hypocrite, you are indeed. Thanks a lot, folks.